Yo, what is going on guys? Julian from Hoop Journey. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. Tonight we had Lonzo Ball and the Lakers going up against the Denver Nuggets, who are looking like a very good team. They can definitely be an X factor in the West. Lonzo Ball going up against Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray definitely trying to go at Lonzo's head tonight. But getting into the numbers, Lonzo Ball finished off with an illustrious 9 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, shot 4 for 10, 40%, 1 for 4 from downtown. And he's been playing well these past two games when he played the Warriors against Steph Curry. He had 15 points, shot the ball pretty well. Tonight, didn't get to score too much. But he, you know, nine rebounds, five assists, two steals with nine points is not that bad. It's pretty good. Brandon Ingram did lead them in scoring with 20 points. He's been playing great. He's just, uh, you know, just molding into a really good NBA player. Looking like, uh, you know, maybe a young Kevin Durant. We'll see if that can be the outcome for him. Brooke Lopez finished off with 15 points. Kuzma off the bench with a double-double, 13 and 10 and then Clarkson with 12 points. Julius Randle with 15. Moving on into Denver. Jamal Murray led them with 28 points. Definitely wanted to make some noise against Lonzo tonight. Trey Lyles off the bench. 18 points. And then Kenneth Faree getting the start tonight with their man out. So he scored 13 points. Paul Millsap was injured tonight. Did not play. Miles Pumley. No Jokic as well. This is why that game was so back and forth. No Jokic or Millsap, their two best players. Plumlee got the start, dropped 12 points. Will Barton, who had a crazy game last night, finished off with 16 points. But the Lakers, this was a back and forth game, bunch of lead changes. And, uh, you know, Lonzo was having a good half. You know, he was getting active. He was able to get to the rim and score, but... Not able to hold on to it in the second half as the Lakers lose this game 115 to 100. Towards the last you know, couple minutes of the game, they just could not score. The last four minutes of the game, they just went cold. They went three minutes without scoring one point. And you will lose a close game like that. And the, you know, the Nuggets were able to complete a comeback. And now you see Julius Randle here. Nice finish at the end of the first quarter. The Nuggets are up. But the Lakers would not give up yet. Here goes Richard Jefferson. And one gets it to go. Handsome Squidward. Look how he's standing. He he really wants to get that. And he, I know he's salty getting traded from the Cavs at the beginning of the season. You know, NBA Finals pretty much guaranteed. And now you're in Denver who's, uh, you know, probably will make the playoffs. But more than likely will end up in the 7th, 8th seed and be a first round exit. But, uh, you know, they still have a nice young core. With a Jokic, who's going to be an amazing player. He's a great playmaker. And look at Jordan Clarkson with the slam. Jokic is an incredible center. He can put up big numbers. He's going to be he's going to be a problem in the NBA very soon, which he already is now. But uh, Paul Millsap is, you know, 32, I believe. So he's getting up there. But he's a nice veteran to have on your team. And look at Brandon Ingram. Mr. Fantastic there on the dunk. But they do have a bunch of young weapons. And that is Denver. Trey Lyles can be a huge problem in the NBA Gary Harris can drop buckets at a matter of time and uh, they just have a nice young core the Nuggets have nice finish there by Big Zoe at the other side of the rim there goes Lonzo and the Lakers would go on a little run here in the second quarter nice three right there from that man to knock it down in front of Lonzo Brooke Lopez thought about the three pump fake drives by and tries to put that man Ken Farid on a poster but the power lip goes through and Lonzo getting pinned from the back. But his man Brandon Ingram there to recover and put it back up for him. Second quarter, 53-49. Brandon Ingram attacking the rim. Gets it poked away and stolen. And a nice dunk on the other side of the rim. Here goes Coy Brewer. Should have been called for a charge. But I think the Nuggets liked it. Nice big dunk there from Jamal Murray. Who's going to be an all-star very soon. Well, I don't want to say very soon, but soon, man. He's just got that killer mentality. He was balling at Kentucky. He's uh, running the point. He's more of a two guard, in my opinion, but the point works out well for him, and he's able to drop buckets and help his team out. Nice three right there in the fourth quarter. 93-90. The Lakers trying to hold on to the lead on the road. Nice spin move right there, and Kuzma again from the three knocks it down. He won Western Conference Rookie of the Month for the month of October and November. Well-deserved for him. 
And, uh, you know, the 27th overall pick just going to work. Tight game here. And then nice finish on the other side of the rim as Denver takes the lead. And Lonzo with the air ball. But it gets saved. Nice save right there by Jordan Clarkson who passes it to Brandon Ingram who finishes at the other side of the rim. Very nice play. 100 to 102. Lakers down by two. Need to get a stop. But they just cannot score. Nice three. Dagger three by Jamal Murray. 109 to 100, and that would do it as the Lakers get the L on the road. Denver comes away with the win.